Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Robocop for NES. Now, um, this is Robocop 2 and it's um, based on the movie which was a real good film that I enjoyed as a child. Uh, this game is very challenging, it's very long, um, but it's very uh, well made, it's a well made game and uh, I enjoyed it as a kid. Um, but I found it very difficult at times. Um, you had to um, you had to learn to watch out for Robocops when he jumps and walks on top of objects. He slides a lot. You know, he has a tendency to slide. Those are just little things um, that I remember as a kid. And um, right now, you can see that uh, there's a lot of secrets. They're kind of hard at first to find. You have to find all the nukes and all this stuff, you know, the little things like that, typical. Um, the graphics are pretty, pretty good. They're, they're very good. I, I like the way that they designed Robocop. They really made him look like Robocop, you know. Um, he's a little bit more larger and more detailed than the first one, I think. <clears throat> but the game was really fun back then. It, was, it really was a fun game. And I'll be playing this game and not talking too much because uh, I kind of felt like when I was playing Carnival, I was talking a little bit too much. And I apologize for the screen, it's a little bit low, um, I mean a little bit high, and you can barely see Robocop's feet and, and the floor. Um, I don't know uh, how that was affected or how that happened, but... Um, the, uh, hopefully the other levels will not be as bad. I'm pretty sure they'll not. I'm pretty sure this is just a little glitch that just occurs for the for the city level. And look at that green water. Look at the graphics. Back then when they had this type of graphics with green water and elements and all that stuff, it was really um really uh innovative and really um creative on the part of the of the of the software engineers for the game. This is the end first level. That wasn't too bad. See, you can tell I've been playing the game for a while because of the score. Ninety-nine. I don't know why it doesn't go up to one hundred. I mean, if you got them all, it should be one hundred. You see, there's all the other little things you have to do: save people, screaming people, and I don't know. Uh, this level, I, I mean, I never saw this level in the, in the movie, you know, um, they tried to replicate the levels from the movie itself, but um, because the graphics are um, not that good for the NES, you can't be very detailed on specific, uh, making the levels specifically like the movie, you know, so, so what they did was they just kind of uh, added little spinning gears and these conveyor belts and stuff like that to kind of uh, make it much more fun. You got that new. Another new. And little zappy things. I don't know what the, what the heck these are doing there. They're, they weren't in the movie. And those little slam things too. When you grab the nuke, they don't look like they're, they're destroyed. It looks like you're just grabbing them, you know? Or uh, maybe he's gonna uh, storm somewhere and maybe like uh, use those little nukes for himself. In the movie, the nukes were um, these shots, these little, little, um, Encapsulated shots that you would um, injection shots that you would put in your neck look kind of painful, you know, kind of strange a little bit. I guess you have to squeeze it and inject it. 
and um, a little round part, which is very different from a lot of drugs that sell nowadays. They're mostly just smoking or um, sniffing or something like that. I guess those will be drugs in the future. But the only way for those drugs to be around is if, you know, the pharmaceutical businesses um, kind of um, have something like that. You know, like they develop a little injection encapsulated thing where the drug is supposed to be in. And then it goes in the streets and strangely it's being sold in the streets. So that's kind of a pharmaceutical business. It might have a hand. Maybe they were in a hand in the movie. No one talks about where the drug was really developed or anything like that, except the fact that uh, I think it's Kane. His name is Kane, the the big drug boss, whatever. Um, or, um he was the one that just kind of developed it and kind of had their hand in it, but they didn't say that he really made it, the origins of it. Super Mario, the first one, and Robocop, both similar in the fact that they, when they jump onto objects at a certain speed, when they propel themselves and they jump onto objects, they slide a lot. And Robocop seems to be too damn handy to be sliding unless the floor is like metal, and he's metal, so they slide a lot, I guess. And the sound effects too, you know? <laughs> They're using that in dubstep a lot. Trap music and electronic music a lot. Not between nuke. Location. OCP sludge plant complex. Order destroy nuke and apprehend all suspects. Secret nuke storage. Store report in this area. We're in the city again, a decrepit, sad, sad city. <clears throat> Another nuke. really jumped on those barrels, like Robocop is heavy as hell, like if he jumped on those barrels he'd be like crushing them. It wouldn't sustain his weight, I mean Robocop, like in the movie they carry him after he gets electrocuted, you know, to get his circuits and his, his uh, system right, from being controlled by the, um, the corporation and all that, but uh, they carry him like um, five people, five or six people pick them up, but I'm pretty sure in real life that they made a real ant, uh, cyborg. The first prototypes would be heavy as hell, like way too heavy for people to carry, even five or six people. Almost like a sack of gold bones. And that green sludge looks so good. I always enjoyed that as a kid, those graphics, you know. Those improvements on the graphics, they really went far. And really, you know, the, the NES age, um, the video game creators actually went above and beyond, and they came far from Super Mario, the first one, the uh, big Nintendo game. And you can tell that when they uh, enlarge the, uh, right there, Robocop holding the guy, and Robocop holding the the money and all that stuff, or whatever that paper is in his hand. They do a better job when they enlarge the image and use the pixels and the blocks to create the, the character. It looks better. <clears throat> Although they're not animated, but they look good. Zone Report. Unlock memories of Alex Murphy from the Secret Computer Access Point. Let's just get to the game. Mm -hmm. 
This level is actually a very cool level. These little driplets right there, I guess, is from the chemicals. That bad guy is kneeling down and just blasting, not even trying to avoid the crap. And those kids, I guess, are supposed to be like, uh, they kind of look like, uh, Boy Scouts or something. Incoming message. The nuke headquarters has been discovered. Kane, the gang leader, is there. Location, factory unit. In the restricted zone. Orders. Apprehend target villains and Kane and Kane dead or alive. Other game that I like to um, do a lot, a full a full game play of is uh, Woodlands for NES. That's uh, um, a real ma uh, real wild, well made game. Um, as a kid, the game uh, was really um, above and beyond anything else. Um, they really cared about the characters. They really cared about the environment and the adventure of the game. And the bosses were just. They blew you away. I mean, back then, like, there was nothing like it. I mean, it was from Hollywood, you know, but, uh, just, just every, the music and everything, and then you get to change your weapons, and, uh, and just, just, just all of that from Gremlins was a real fun game. But besides that, most of the NES games were really, um, really fun.
This is a real long game, but it's a real fun game. Oh yeah, the boss. This, uh, the whole level, the whole game is the only boss besides, um, the end boss, obviously, the big robot. Kane's brain is put inside of it, and, uh, um, he's, like, shooting, like, um, electric eels at you or something, I don't know what the hell they are. I think it's probably Kane? I don't, I don't know, I don't even know what the hell it is. The level's just, you know, you pass one level and you keep going and it's like, um... You forget what exactly the level's about and like, you know, the game is just kind of vague and... The story's not well told too much, you know. So it's like, I, I think that is Kane. The story's not well described then. In some of these old classic um, 90s games or 80s for that matter. Location the new civics centrum building. Orders work your way up to the building, restoring order. Strong, strong room hidden in this area. Centrum. Well, this level is just plain old crazy. This is this is a this is a wild ass. Game. And when you got these like these tiles, pink purple tiles on the walls, and you got these these um, elevator thingamajigs and these TV sticks that don't even work. They're like green, uh, um, purple um fuzz. It just doesn't show nothing. And there's old-fashioned '60s um, recording devices. And the useless little uh, robot bad guys. And you had your damsel in distress. So it's like this this level right here just wild. And those guys, those, those robots don't even you know they're bigger in the movie first and second and not even doing nothing. Easy to kill. And that's it. Ten of nukes, which there probably wasn't even that much in this level to begin with. And 99 arrested targets. Enemy targets. Sick. Zombie port. Unlock memories from the Alex Murphy from uh, of Alex Murphy's secret computer access point. Looking all shiny. doesn't even show him unlocking no memories, you know, that's a thing. Whoa, what do you mean? Gotcha. One shot. Big ol' robot's there. far, not too far long. Urgent message. Report. The prototype of cop series 2 robots are armed and running riot. Location Civics Centrum Building. Order to destroy and prototype devices and proceed to the roof. So we're going to a roof. 
And this should be the area where we're getting close to fighting all theirs. King's brain, I don't know what the hell they're doing there. There's multiple brains there. And that big old electrical, dangerous electrical thing is there. And uh, spiky mouth, mouth traps. So now things have gotten a little bit more exciting now because we're reaching the end, close to the end. Now the wall, I, I don't mind the wall, the, the design of the walls in this level because they actually look kind of interesting, little bubble wrap kind of look to them. Whoa. like the old Robocop films compared to the new 2000 Millennium version, the old Robocop films had better acting and better story, and, and obviously it was a more original script, more original than the rehashing of a lot of films that they're doing nowadays, Michael Bay, you know, I just hope that the youth actually understand that even though some of the films may look better nowadays, they're not uh, better in terms of originality because they've been there before. What's better is actually coming up with something different or, or more exciting than the older films, but I actually kind of think that the older films, um, boring, actually, um, exhausted all original ideas for plots and story, screenwriting and story writing and all that. So, like, we really don't know where to go, you know. That's why we will be using a lot of old ideas. I mean, the writing's on the wall. I mean, we're making a lot of um, comic book hero char uh, character movies. So, like, that just shows that um, really we're, we've hit the wall in terms of originality. Arrested of target. Now, we didn't. Robocop didn't arrest him. He shot them to hell. Report. See, we went to the roof. Orders locate Robocop 2. So we have to fight his minions and then get to him. And here we go. Very, very close. Now, I don't remember the roof being this damn wild with these rockets and holding these platforms up and these spinning out of control um, dishes, you know? And that guy hanging off the roof, I mean, the hell are you doing? That? All in all, it's just a matter of just making it fun, I guess. That guy kind of kicking. Kick and shoot you at the same time? And the little dropping parachute bomb things. I don't remember seeing those. And if Robocop were to punch something, whether whether or not it's that fast or not, it would it would hurt you. Just as it, it should kill these guys just as fast as uh, the bullets do. Got some more life. Got that. Sparkly stars, nice night.
Port Robocop 2 is shooting innocent civilians from the roof. Location, present position. Order, destroy Robocop 2. Robocop 2 is a lethal device. So now, we're gonna fight him. How you doing, King? They actually did a very good job on designing Robocop 2, aka King, in this game. The reason why is because they enlarged it. Uh, the Kraken is more large than the more detail on it. Well, actually, for NES games, it's really, really good records. Which is a precursor to Super NES. Which is gonna come to you later. Or, I think it's, it's, it's the early 90s, so. That NES load out there. It's been so long, you know. Anyways. Haven't gotten hit. And there's a nice little pop explosion. Crashes through the roof down to lower level, but Robocop 2 is still operational. You must destroy Robocop 2 and and so you follow it down. Let's do it. Just like in the movie. It's strange how it looks like the same location. Now this one you gotta shoot him right in the kneecap. You can't shoot him on the top of the So you kinda mixed up a little bit. He's a little more faster and quicker and the bullets and everything is faster. Let's see if I can make it without any hits. Look how large it is, my god dang. Robocop's a huge compared to Robocop. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Or is it? Robocop 2 escapes again. Even though you have suffered severe system damage, you know you must defeat this evil machine. You jump down after him, and this is the final confrontation. So here we go, we're fighting in the street, it's supposed to be in the street because that's what's in the movie. But it's in the same location, in, in this game. It's so great how like electronic music uses all like some of these video game sound effects. And the video game sound effects were um, created for games because of limitations of not being able to create actual or record actual sound effects of explosions or gunshots or thuds or anything like that. So like that's actually very very cool that the limitations in nature to these games back in the day are actually being um, honored. And music, and people are recognizing me because I always love, I always love video game music. My first love was um, music on the radio, love it. old style music, but video game music was really my love. And you're dead, finally. You have destroyed Robocop 2 and saved the city from bankruptcy, but you are reminded that Robocop's performance can always be improved. After all, he's only human. He says that right when you're screwing on the little bolt at the end of the film. So, that's Robocop. Thank you guys for watching. Rick says it is. This is the whole play of Robocop 2 for NES. Thank you for watching. God bless and take care. Make sure to watch my cartoons and subscribe and like if you want to. Thanks.